Okay, so I've got another piece. Uh, this is uh, 16 millimeter by two uh, threaded rod. It's like grade eight or something to that effect. Um, so I need to cut a piece of this off to uh, make the actual draw bar out of. And I missed. Okay, so now we've got a uh, our piece of uh, threaded rod and a uh, nut on the end, and I'm gonna uh, brace that nut on there with some uh, silver braze, silver and brass. Uh, just because I've got that handy and uh, it sticks pretty well to everything. I'm just using my portable oxyacetylene kit that I have for uh, heating and cooling repairs uh, just because that was closest. I could have wheeled a bigger set in here, but for what I'm doing, this is fine. Let that cool a bit, and uh, then we'll see how everything worked out. Now, this vise I have here, uh, I recently uh, rescued from a customer. I've been walking past her for 10 years. It was sitting in the uh, ledge inside the Bilco door going into the basement. I don't think it's ever been used. Uh, it's a nice American made Wilton. It's got uh, positive locks on the uh, on the swivel, pipe jaws in the uh, in the uh, underneath the uh, main jaws. Uh, it needs a good cleaning up. I've got a Charles Parker on the uh, on my main workbench. I think I'm going to replace the Charles Parker with this because this got a little wider jaws. Uh, it's got a little bigger anvil on the back of it, and it's got the pipe jaws underneath the main jaws, which the Charles Parker doesn't have. I've got uh, a tripod pipe vise, and I've got a bench top mounting pipe vise but uh, 
this would be uh, I figured this would be good to uh, use this one in place of the Charles Parker it's too bad it's got the surface rust on it but it is what it is it'll clean up so this is all the parts of the drawbar assembly it's nothing fancy it's just the drawbar an adapter to go on the back end of the uh, spindle and uh, Morse taper for uh, ER32 collet adapter collet chuck whichever you prefer to call it so let me just slap that in the so here it is in the lathe uh, you have to open up the back cover to get on on it with a wrench which is no big deal because you have to open the back cover to put it in uh, back gear to lock up the spindle anyway and here it is in the uh, on the working side of the spindle um, I've still got to make a uh, nose guard for the spindle to protect the threads. I've seen uh, one that uh, John over at, at Double Boost had made for his, John Mills, and uh, I like that, so I'm going to make one of those before uh, something happens and I put a nick in the, uh, in the threads of the spindle nose. So uh, I guess that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. I did the uh, lathe work for the um, spacer and, and adapter off camera uh, just because this lathe is new to me and I didn't want to have the distraction of uh, trying to stay out of the way of the camera shot and everything uh, so I just elected to do it off camera so that's it have a great day and stop by again